Hi. Well, if that privileged inbred retail Charles III and the pompous Stephen Fry can deliver a Christmas message, why not a pleb like me from the depths? Not that today I'm conveying any pre-scripted message of seasonal cheer in these end of calendar year days of consumption, enforced conviviality, fractious family get-togethers, the words, deeds of many of our ruling class who purposely designate themselves as Christians, politicians, pundits, commentators, usually consists of right-wing bile lacking in a shred of humanitarianism, the likes, for example, of Anne Widdicombe, ex-Tory minister, now Reform Party luminary, is just one example plucked at random from this seething cauldron of reactionaries. She simply oozes contempt and bitter hatred for the lower orders. Anyone who fails to conform to the Christian moral standards she no doubt really believes in, which are somewhat to the right of Thomas Torquemada. Her ilk, who fill the studios of the GB News, Talk TV, the columns of our oligarch-owned press and other media, seem to forget, in their spouting of cruel reactionary claptrap, that the so-called Holy Family were forced to stay in a stable, the infant Jesus bedded in a cattle trough, that they were outcasts under foreign occupation, forced to become refugees. But then, these conservative commentators mostly specialise in Pharisee-type hypocrisy, praising those who dispense charity to the needy over this festive period. They spend the remainder of the year making life and existence as intolerable as possible, subjecting the dispossessed to demagogic abuse, exploitation, immiseration, eviction, disenfranchisement. The growing, becoming uncontrollable number of street homeless bears witness to this. The conditions that have been deliberately created by these supporters of our feudal capitalist system, although apparently much of it is down to lifestyle choice, according to them, this Victorian discrepancies of wealth and poverty are becoming the norm and ever expanding. So rather than send seasonal greens, I'd rather see the submerged third become politicised in an anarchic direction to start plundering the stores and mansions of the rich and asserting themselves as an insurrectionary class. Now that indeed would make for a happy new year. Bye.